we'll just cut off here and then okay, right. let me, let me do right. a wardrobe and, change. And cut and cut. Uh, okay, let me do a wardrobe change. <laughs> so, okay. okay, and then yeah, maybe we can just do 30 minutes now. We can do another 30 minutes later because you said you had some stuff to do. So we'll just go until. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Then we can re All right. All right bring, bring us in. Okay. Uh, hey, everyone. Welcome to episode 16 of For the Lulls with DJ Loud and JY. 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 Don't, don't Young get my, H. Don't, don't get no. Uh, don't get my, Don't get my. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Jeez. Oh, uh, okay. So this is this is a, a new episode, but we're just. Yeah. We're just it's really a continuation. It from it's, the last time. The, the same it's time. similar. It's similar to how they filmed the Christopher Reeves Superman movies, where they filmed uh, ep, uh, Superman one and two back to back. Right, right, had, exactly. Because this, this, this way, this way, I can release more than one episode per year. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Okay. Um, so, and Jay's son is still at his parents' home, yep. and so, I, it's I think, still snowing out, and so he's never going to be able to pick up his son. <laughs> so I, I think uh, DJ Loud has some uh, exciting conversation topics. Yeah, so I do. Which exciting uh, conversation topic do you want to talk about uh, first? I'm pretty excited about Tom Brady. Wait, are you so. drinking right now? Yeah. It's 10 a.m., bro. Why are you drinking yeah. out of a whiskey bottle? For the lulls, lull. Okay, all right, all right. Um, okay, um, one might oh, categorize that as a, a problem, but okay. Hmm. Uh, not following, but okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, so you, I, I was curious because you drove in the snow yesterday to go get uh, some is, instant noodles. This is not an exciting conversation topic. No, it is. Okay. It is. I want to hear about your experience. Like how, how? So, like Seattle is notorious for not being very well prepared for. For snowy uh, travel, it's not that it's not well prepared. It's just that there's a lot of hills, right, and it's very mm -hmm. dangerous to drive. So, well, people also don't know how to do it. I think no, it's no, it's it's because there's a lot of hills. It has nothing to do with not people not knowing. There, there's a like, skill set too that I that I feel like I I watch all these videos on Reddit. I mean, we can we can see some of those. We should watch some of those videos actually, or uh, look at some not, of those pictures. Not, not an exciting conversation. It is topic. like uh, there's like you know how like derailing. buses always get stuck. People love those videos of of the buses getting stuck on Queen Anne Hill. Um, yeah, because it, exactly because Seattle is very hilly. Like you go to the East Coast where it snows a lot, like it's super flat. It doesn't even. But why matter. are those? Why are those people even trying to drive down the hill? Like, wouldn't common sense dictate that you should not be doing that? Well, sometimes you got you got to you got to be somewhere, you know. Mm, no. Like yesterday, I needed to get some instant noodles, and luckily the Safeway was just a few blocks away. I shoveled my driveway, mm -hmm. I wiped all the snow off of my car, and I drove there mm -hmm. and drove back. Nice, nice, nice. Cake. You, you drove. It, uh, it was flat. It was you drove flat. the Accord. You drove the Accord. Yeah, it, it was flat where. What kind of instant noodles did you get? Uh, the Marukton. Oh, that's the worst kind. It's the best kind. All right, so I think you want to talk about Tom Brady and how awesome he was, right? So, uh, well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. He's fine, I guess. No, I, he's I'm the not the greatest a, of all time. I, I don't even like football. I don't even watch football, but I just you don't even, you don't even know what a quarterback does. Right, exactly. But like, so I don't, I don't, I don't exactly, understand why right, you're like on this. Like, you're like a you're just like I, jumping I don't on the bandwagon. All, but all I knew is that everybody hated him, but. No, but now, like I found out, he won seven Super Bowls, which is really insane. Because uh, there, I, there just, is. I'm just learning all of this now, right? Like all, all of football is just the best of one. So it's not like but, basketball where you get well, the best of seven, right? There, there is. It's instant. I mean, it's instant death. I, I think. I think there's. Okay, let, let's talk about this. Actually, let's let's talk about why people dislike winners. Yes, please. please but yes. but why do people not dislike certain winners? Uh, because they're jealous. I'm, no, what that goes uh, that contradicts exactly what I just said. Well, so no, no, it's the, the why, did, why? Well, why? How, how come no one hates Khabib? Uh, uh, all the Conor McGregor fans hate Khabib. Uh, I guess, but like, okay, let, let me let me phrase it this way: Do you think there's more people who dislike Conor McGregor than there are people who dislike Khabib? Um, like, who who do you, if you took like a just like a general poll, right? Like, uh, let's say Stephen A. Smith, like, released a poll. Like, you love, you leave, you love Stephen A. Smith. I love Stephen A. Smith, like, yes. So let's say he, like, I don't know, does he do polls? Does he do, like, Twitter polls or something? No, I don't know he doesn't. He I would say more people like Conor McGregor because he's more fam famous. No, 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 no. You the, think so? You think USA, so? In the USA, yes, in the USA. People know of him in the USA, but... He's still the biggest pay-per-view draw. Like, every time he fights, like, people tune in. So uh, more that, that might know, change. I think that's going to change. That's going to change if Khabib comes back, but... um. We can talk about that later too, whether or not you think he'll come back. But oh yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, let's. But like, but he's, like, he's why? Not coming back, but yeah. Uh, he might. He, I think, I think he had an interesting closed session with Dana White. That, that um, was just clickbait. 
<laughs> Dana White knows uh, that clickbait drives a YouTube video, so he just keeps meeting with them to generate clickbait. Okay, okay. So let's talk about this. So yeah. So Conor McGregor, right? I, I would I would argue just I don't know that this is just a gut feeling. I, it's not like I've taken like a poll of like the um, of the world or anything. But yeah. I I feel like more people dislike Conor McGregor than Khabib. Let's just I mean even even among just UFC fans, I think if you were to take a poll at like on Sure Dog, which I, I'm sure I, I know you love, I know Ugh. you love Sure Dog. That's like that's like your thing, dude. You love Sure Dog, I'm sure. Look, um, I've never been to Sure Dog, but I know it's cool to hate on it. So okay, I'm sure. Making these right. reactions, right? Yeah. Or like, or like, let's say, um, yeah. So like, w- like, why do you th- like? Would you agree with that? Would you agree that more people, more people dislike Conor McGregor than Khabib? Um, there's something unlikable about Conor, right? No, I, I think I. It's think, not. It's not I just the think... winning thing. It's not just the winning thing, because because Khabib is definitely a. A better fighter than Connor. That that's that's not disputed. That's that's well, not. it is if you talk to McGregor fans. <laughs> okay, sure, but but, but yeah. if you look at but if you look at UFC rankings now, right? We can't we can't deny that. We can't yeah, deny yeah, that. Khabib's way better. Yeah, that's it's not even okay. a conversation. Like the the, okay. the trolls who who say that uh, right. McGregor is better. Yeah. And if you love Connor McGregor, yeah. go ahead and cry about it in the comments. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I would say. A lot of people like him less now because of all the bad stuff he did, like punching an old man and and throwing the trolley through the bus. But right. before that, he was actually he was actually very so, well liked and popular. So yeah. there, so so the, the, I think if you win gracefully, people will like you. Yeah, and Tom Brady wins pretty gracefully, from what I can tell. So uh, I think I think he has like weird attitude problems, which is why like why I just like him. What what, what 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 did he do that rubbed you the wrong way? He just he just like the way I mean I understand this like there he he crosses he like he he rides this line of being ultra competitive versus being like kind of a dick is how I see it. But but Michael Jordan was the same way. I also don't like Michael Jordan. Wow. I think I think I've said Are this you, before. You're right? just saying this stuff so that because you want the controversy to drive you. No, no, no. You're I just get, I get canceled. How no, dare you disrespect? No, no. Like I, I, I'm not a Michael Jordan fan because I, I don't, I don't. Wow. I will root for someone who is kind of a, like who is an underdog if they like do it the right way. I, but I don't, I don't like, I don't like brass brashness. I don't like, um, I don't like people who like, who are just jerks in real life. Tom Brady seems like he would be a jerk in real life. He seems all right to me. No, he's, and he's and the greatest he's like, of all time. He's the greatest of all time. Like uh, he has certain political beliefs. I will say that I don't believe in. Uh, oh we yes, don't need, yes, we don't need we don't need we don't need to talk so about politics. Need to discuss yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah, people uh, are just jealous. Yeah, there's, there's mm, no, I mean, there's but jealous. but again, I, I like Khabib because I think Khabib does things the right way, and I think he. He's like, you know, he seems to have strong family values. He respects, like, he he wants to have like a sense of privacy in his life. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't do anything to be a dick. I mean, yeah, like after that one Connor fight, like that he he kind of acted out a little bit, but he apologized. Uh, I, I think it. it was justified, actually, um, what he did. Like, uh, like no nobody's gonna fault him for what he did. And actually, like, most people thought that was pretty cool. So another another person who wins a lot that I really dislike is Steph Curry. Do you know Steph Curry? Uh, I know he's good. Uh, I follow basketball. I mean, he's he's he's. he's, he's really I I don't like him because he he's really he good. has this he has he has this like abrasiveness in his personality. Yeah, it's, but see, okay, I, this, he doesn't win the right way. I will do, say, do you, right? Wait, is uh is Stephen Curry popular? Like more people like yeah, him he, than uh Tom. He Curry is super popular. Uh, Steph Curry is super popular. Okay, okay. Yeah, he he does this stuff. He does these. He's like he seems a little too cocky. I think I think people also don't like that. At least I don't. Yeah, I jealousy. don't like. I don't. I don't like. It's, it's no, okay it's to, not. It's okay to be jealous. It's no, okay. no, it's it's, okay. it's not it's a okay. jealousy thing. It's like a it's cockiness. Okay. I I I like winners that don't do that. No, you know he, what I mean? They've earned the right to be cocky, and I I don't think Tom Brady is uh, cocky. Like, uh, he is, and, no, and he's yeah, he definitely is. Like, you 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 don't watch football, so you have no. Oh, no, I, I don't. So that's that's why I've been catching up. So did you oh, did you here. know? Did you know he was the 199th draft pick? I I know this. Yeah, he was a huge underdog. Like. 
he almost just never never even became like a like a football player because he was like okay the, okay i don't i don't like need the, you to tell me all these tom brady the, facts because you just because you, you just whatever that means i like, i don't need to know all these know facts the of, the, of the 30 of the 30 of the 30 minute of the 30 minute documentary you watched last night i don't exactly. need to, for you I, I don't need you to spill out all these facts you, you, you i already know, you know I already exactly know for years. which one i watched too don't i don't you? I, I don't need to know all these stupid facts that you memorize from like the yeah, 30 minutes. He was a huge underdog. In preparation like, for this it was, podcast. It was, it was, uh, no, I, I didn't do it in preparation. I just did okay, it sure, in, sure. in awe of his, of his greatness. It's, like, it's I, just, I, had no, I had no idea, but like, I, I knew people hated him. I knew he was good, but I didn't know he was this good. I, I, I'm i you know, just saying that I think there's 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 a way to win correctly, and I don't, I don't think that – I think I think the winning a lot brings out this like – Yeah, people get jealous. This unsportsman – it's like um, it's the reason like, like people hated the Yankees, right? Because you know they they're just too good. Mm, I mean, no, that's not it. It's a salary cap thing too. But from what I understand. Oh, what salary cap thing? I don't know anything about sports. I, well, I think in baseball, way. like I think in baseball, you can, and I, you know, don't don't quote me on this because I'm not a baseball expert. I only know like uh-huh. bits and pieces. But I I think in so so in most sports, there's a thing called a salary cap where. Each uh-huh. team is only allowed to spend a certain number of sure. dollars, okay. right? Yeah. And so, like, let's say you're trying to put together an Amazon team. I'm trying to put it in perspective of what right. you do and what you are familiar with. Yes, yes. Excellent. Let's say you're trying to let's try. Let's say you're trying to make the ultimate programming team, right? Well, you are only allotted like a hundred thousand dollars of salary. I know that's not very much, and I know that's right. you know, but let's yeah. let's say that's true, and yeah. let's say it's let's say it's like 1980 where that is a lot of money. Yeah, and so you're trying to like get all these people to program in Visual Basic, and you only have a hundred. That's I'm putting it in context in the 1980s. Um, was, was Visual Basic out in the 1980s? Probably no, not. But yeah, yeah. But basic was sure. sure but yeah, sure, so, but sure. yeah, you get the idea. Okay, so so you have a hundred thousand dollars, and you can hire up to four people. Right. Or actually, no. Let's you have to you have to hire four people. Now you could hire someone who's like a stud at 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 programming basic and pay him ninety grand, and then ev- all the the remaining three people I, I don't know, did I say four or five people I don't remember sure whatever, but how, yeah. the remaining people have to use up the rest of that money yeah. right yeah the remaining now, people suck now your your fi- yeah right and so you have this one stud um, programmer who who's who's being paid the most right but yeah. in total there there's you've reached that hundred thousand uh, salary amount. Now, yeah. William William Mao has a competitive company, and he has unlimited pockets, right? And so he can pay his programmers as much as possible. Uh, uh, so he could hire five, f- four or five programmers and basically pay them an unlimited amount. So he would get the top of the, you know. Okay, right, first off, uh, why does William Mao have the unlimited pockets in this hypothetical example? Because he works for Microsoft. And, he works and, for Microsoft, wow, and you wow. only work for Micro- and you only work for Amazon. Wow. Okay. And, and oh number- wait, was I allowed to say that? <laughs> and number was two, I to say, were you? Uh, you you just made up a fictional person named William Mao. He doesn't exist, and neither him or nor I work at Microsoft or Amazon. So <laughs> okay, let's, right. Let's let's just make but, sure these are all hypothetical statements. And so I I think I think for a long time I I think baseball has a cap now, but for a long time when the Yankees were doing really well, they this was before the salary cap era, I think. I don't know. Again, oh, was it? don't okay, quote okay. me on this. And so huh, a lot of people huh. disliked the fact that they could pay to win because they had deeper pockets than everyone else. Wait, wait. Who who owned the Mariners or who owns it now? Uh, who it used it to be now? owned by the... Uh, a major stake in the Mariners used to be owned by the by Nintendo of America. Okay, I'm pretty sure Nintendo of America had deep pockets. So that, that was their own damn fault for, for being losers then. That's, I mean, also, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of other things that and, go behind. And, and also, the, I mean, the salary cap is yet another reason why Tom Brady is just so good. I mean, you have absolutely because like all the money goes to the quarterback, right? So you don't have any money to go to whatever those other positions are. I have no idea what they are, but like you don't okay. have any money left. Nice. It's exactly why the Seahawks imploded, right? Because Russell Wilson took all the money, even though um, he's not. He's not even that good. That's like, that's not why. There's there's never a reason. And, and, but anyways, and, you know they couldn't keep everybody else. Anyways. Uh, we're, we're derailed a little bit, but um, yes. I I think there's a correct way to win, and there's a there's an incorrect way to win. And I think the the winners that I tend to root for are the ones that well, I think always the ones that win the correct way. Okay, well I, I I'm gonna. I also don't like I also don't like Manny Pacquiao because of some of his like beliefs. Do you like Manny Pacquiao? You like of Manny course. Pacquiao? Of course I do. Oh, gee, have winner. you heard some of the Have you heard some of the stuff he says? He should be canceled. 
I'm not going to talk about politics. I actually don't know what he said. So I'm okay, look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Not, look it up right now, so we can have a live it, reaction. We, we will. No, we will discuss privately afterwards. Because <laughs> the thing is, if you don't react the right way, you'll also get canceled. So oh, you should, well, you should. Well, you should definitely cancel Manny Pacquiao. I am not. Gonna he stands ag- He he's against whoa, everything whoa, that we believe in in America. Let's let's. Uh, I'm just gonna just going to edit edit that out. out. <laughs> don't want any cancellations. Uh, okay. Yeah, like I, I like winners, and Tom Brady is the winningest you, winner. Because yeah, yeah football you, is sudden death. Man. You, you, you sudden want death. to, you, you are a type of guy who wants people to win no matter what the cost. I think, and no, I this think is sports. This is sports, right? Like I, um, I, I, I think, I think you are. If I can, you know, if I don't know, I, I think, I think from what I see, you. You like to root for people like Tom Brady, who who might be underdogs coming out, and then they they like prove everyone wrong. I think that's that's part of your that's part of your thing, right? Am I wrong? Am I, am I wrong on that? Am I wrong on this? Am I wrong on this? Yeah, that no, you... that's what that's what makes this story even cooler. Because that's like yeah, that's a nobody, that's like what gets him. Just just you... like Jeremy Lin, nobody wanted Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin is trash. No, you just, um no no. If you were actually a good basketball player, I I think that. You know what I mean? Like, but there's like I could name like a billion players that are better than him, and like, I, my issue is that you 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 primarily root for him because he's Asian American, and I, I there's nothing wrong with that, but that that's like yeah, that's awesome. like your base. That's like ninety percent of your like your basis, right? And that there, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, there's there's like Asian comedians I I tend to like, and not not because they you know maybe not because they're the funniest ever, but because they're like Asian American and they like they they show my values, right? Yeah, Bobby Lee is not funny, but yeah, sure, sure. Oh wow, you're gonna get canceled for saying that, but okay. But no, he's not funny. Do you know who is a funny Asian comedian? Is Jimmy Yang? He like he like looks kind of like you. I, like I, I would like him, but see the thing, like he just he just like plays loser Asian stereotypes. No, like he doesn't. like like on um like on uh, what, what's that HBO show called Silicon Valley? Like he plays what? a loser. Yeah. Like that, like all he's these. A pro- he's, a, he's a star programmer. He oh. programmed this. He made this program and he sold it. No, but he's, he he's like a passive loser though. Like he's, no, just dude. like in all these Asian comedians, they always play passive loser roles. Like that. that, that that's, that's that's my problem with it. Like they, they're all de- uh, depicted as losers. You should love Jimmy Oyan. He looks like you, and he like be, he defied all the odds to become a star. By playing loser roles, so yeah. no, he doesn't play a loser role. He always plays. Have you ever seen this film called Crazy Rich Asian People? Okay, no. No, you should watch it with your wife. Yeah, no, I, I heard it's good. I just haven't got it. Right he, he plays like a superstar in it, and he plays like a billionaire. Oh, that's cool then. Yeah, he's, um, he should do more roles like that. Actually, while we're talking about that, have you have you heard of this Netflix show called House of Bling? Yeah. What What are your thoughts on this? I don't I'll, like I'll, it. I only watched one episode, but I think it's awesome. I, I think, think it's, it's stupid. time. It's time okay. Asians get some recognition. Oh, and, and like I, the like the main. I think guy it's trash. The, the main guy that they're interviewing is like is like super hot. So you know. I think it's trash. You know, but okay. Like, the, like the, the main Asian guy is super hot. Like uh, I'm not even gonna <laughs> that because he's just super hot. Wow, I don't think you can say that. Word. You should probably not. Wait, is, that, is, that, get... is that not okay? Wait, wait, wait why? You should. You should that, definitely. Well, well, you should really just... watch your language on that. You're. You're okay. Well, you should. Can you write down to? To bleep that out, so you don't get, so you don't get canceled for your sake, because you're gonna get canceled for saying that. So make sure to put a timestamp. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. One hundred percent sure that you will get canceled for that. So you can't say that they, stuff. Down. How come they're not canceling? I don't even know what that is. They're like the progenitors of. Uh, I. Oh, I don't, anyways, all right. So well, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't. So, I don't so, use that phrase. So, I just so rewind. Yeah, like the, the main protagonist in, in House of Bling. Like, cause this is a is a reality TV show. Like, yeah, he's he's super hot, and like, yeah, they just need more hot people like him and Shin Lim and like these other Asians. Shin hot. Lim? Are you Portrayed, kidding? Yeah, Get out of here! Hot. He's Shin terrible. Oh like, my god! They just dude. need more more he's guys terrible. like that, and, instead of like all these other guys like uh, Ken Jeong who are portrayed as losers. You know, like Ken Jeong. Ken Jeong's Jeong. A, Ken Jeong has a medical degree. Yeah, but he was portrayed as a buffoon on Community, which is still yeah. one of my favorite shows. But yeah, he was like a huge. He's not a buffoon, buffoon dude. He, he he like on oh, the show. Remember, on the show. Remember when? Is this a spoiler? If we if we give away a plot point for a year, a show that came out like ten years ago. I, I don't think so. So like, remember when he like faked his own death and stuff, and he came back? Right. Yeah. That was amazing. I, that, I wait. Did he okay. fake his own death? I don't even remember that now. Yeah, I think so. That was a plot point in like, I don't know, one of the later seasons. 
No, he, he became a dictator. No, he faked amnesia. He called it Changnesia. <laughs> yeah, See, that that's was, hilarious. That, that's that hilarious. Pretty, that, that was pretty racist. That's I, hilarious. I, I, I that's like hilarious. It. It's hilarious. They, they called it Changnesia. I was like, oh man, that's I, I hilarious. Like it. What? Because yeah. his name, his name, his name is Senior Chang. What? So anyway, circling back, yeah, like House of Bling, the, the picks winning Asians. So you know that's good. Those guys don't win the right way. I don't like. Uh, no, we just we just. Uh, need, I'm not a fan. Uh, we, not we a need, fan. Uh, winning Asians. Um, not a, not a fan of that show. It's it's more reality TV crap. I was. Yeah, like so. Anyways, I, I didn't know Tom Brady was the 199th draft pick, but now the fact that people hate him is even more unacceptable. Because, like he he was a fourth string quarterback or whatever, which is apparently a bad thing. He stopped saying. He stopped. I, I, like I have to put it in quotes because I don't actually know what that means. Stop but, doing but, that. But yeah, like he didn't get any so place. The only reason the only reason he got play time was because like the main because Drew Bledsoe got, Drew Bledsoe got injured. Got yeah, he injured. Got injured yeah. And Tom Brady was Do like, you know the name of that quarterback? You... Oh, I do because I watched the documentary. Yesterday. Okay, yeah, who Drew was it? Bledsoe. Who was it? Okay. You, you, you okay. just said it, okay. it was Drew Bledsoe. Okay. Okay. He got injured, okay. and Tom Brady was like, <laughs> "Time for me to shine," and he never let yeah, go. Okay. But if Drew Bledsoe hadn't been injured, Tom Brady would have languished in obscurity, just no, like he was Jeremy Lin. So you know, like yeah, Jeremy Lin had a chance. Underdogs, both heroic underdogs. Oh jeez. Okay. Well. Okay. So so um, okay. So I think uh, the, that wraps it up. You know, uh, Tom Brady. Okay. Is all right. Time. Well. Uh, um, and I will I will stand by my statement that there's a correct way to win and there's okay. an incorrect way to win and, and I don't. And, uh, I, I'm gonna bring like, Tom Brady's book. I, I found out that he has, oh, a, he has a book that talks about. No one. Like, no one uh, purchases this book. Tom Brady. We don't the, want your the, money. The, don't. <laughs> the Tom Brady don't, method. Don't. Like, don't I, sponsor us. I, we I don't wanna, want. I want to learn about his diet and his workout regimen. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't. We don't. Yeah. We. Uh, please, a different audience. Franchise. Audience, please ignore that. That the past thirty seconds of what Jay goes to a different franchise and wins it in the first year. We don't. Do we it. don't support. Uh, we don't support Tom Brady or anything he does. Um, okay. So. And, and we don't. We don't support his political beliefs. So uh, now moving on to uh, Khabib. Uh, he, he's retired, bro. Like you heard what he said. Like his mom didn't want him to fight anymore, and he's a yeah. man of. Values. So yeah, unless, see, yeah, unless yeah. his unless his mom gives him permission, because I know. Yeah, his I think dad, his mom will. I think his mom will let yeah. him go one more. That's yeah, like, that's, that's like, why I think yes, he'll come back. Yes, his dad I, did want him to go thirty no, but he's only going to come back for one fight. Uh, yeah, I know. He, but I think I think his mom's going to let him come back. But he's not going to come back for the Connor fight, which is what Dana wants, because he wants to get that big payday. But he's not going to fight yeah, Connor again. I I Connor will got destroyed agree with by, that. Connor got destroyed by Dustin. So. Uh, did he? Yeah, I guess he did. Yeah. Yeah, he got destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. That was that was a really good fight. What was your top fight since quarantine started? Well, I think uh, that Khabib, Khabib versus fight? Justin Gaethje, yeah, or okay. or Zhang Wei Li defending her title. Okay. Did you watch the other Asian guy? Um, I, I didn't watch it. That that UFC. It was like a free UFC that came on like on on ABC in like the middle of the day. That all of those fights were spectacular. It was like the most amazing free UFC I'd seen in a long. It was on ABC. That's insane. When did UFC on... go on to ABC? Well, what? well remember, you remember UFC does a stupid thing now where they're like on ESPN Plus. Yeah. So how are they and on ABC? ESPN is owned by ABC slash Disney. Wait, Disney owns ABC. Yeah, dude. Oh, jeez, this is wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we need to break up Disney. They're they're becoming too good for. Uh, a good monopoly, for as yeah. as one might say. They're becoming too big for their own good. Like. Yeah. Everyone's talking about you know canceling Amazon and whatever, but people are just ignoring the fact that Disney owns everything. No, it's, you know who's saying cancel Amazon is like just people in Seattle. Uh, no, <laughs> everyone's talking about canceling Amazon, but no one's talking no. about canceling Disney. They're no. they're gigantic. You want, you want to talk more about those people who want to cancel Amazon? Uh, no, not really. You have strong opinions about it? Nope, I I don't I don't. No, I, I okay. feel like uh, more people should focus on canceling Disney because they own everything. Uh -huh. like, that's a pretty big. I didn't know they own ABC now too. Like uh -huh. that's. Mm -hmm. That's pretty insane. No, 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 no. I think ABC owns. I don't know. I don't know which which way it goes. But... I'm pretty sure Disney owns ABC. Uh, but by the way, if any Disney executives are watching this, I'm just joking. And if you know you do want to give me a job at Disney, but, you know, I'm I'm I, I'd love to. But we don't want your sponsorship because you already uh, own too much and you make too much money. Not true, so. but, yeah, yeah. but yes, Disney. I, I would definitely work for you. For a great company. So it's for <laughs> everything I just. Wow, said. what a what a sellout. <laughs> Um, speaking of selling, um, uh, did, were you were you following this GameStop slash? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, Reddit's war against uh, short sellers. Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't against short sellers. It was against the hedge funds, right? Like. Uh, uh, which which are which have short sellers? Yeah, there's nothing inherently wrong with uh, short, short selling. 
Uh, well, I mean, what uh, well, do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? But there's you, nothing wrong with it. Uh, all, you, all you're doing is you're betting like the stock price will go down, and like there's do just you, nothing. Do you think that's so? Let's let's talk about that really quick. Do you, do you? Okay, let me. How do I want to phrase this here? So, um, when you when one purchases stocks, right? Like when nor let me say, let me phrase it this way: when most people buy stocks, right? Like or when you buy when you invest in something, um, are like my thought is that you'll you'll look at a company and be like, I I believe in this company. I think they're going to do well, so I'm going to give them my money in the hopes that my money will will raise, all right? Or my yeah, my, sure, sure. my right. Yeah. Or like, or in other words, but my, I, my, I will, um, um, I'll, I'll profit from their success. Now, short sellers do quite the opposite, right? They, they're, they're literally saying, "I'm going to bet against you, and and I'm, I'm wishing for your failure." Yeah, yeah. Which sucks. That's a terrible mentality. Well, GameStop is a terrible company, though. Uh, like, I, I guess. Like, I mean, where the, the where I had the issue with the hedge fund. So the reason I so I actually did buy a share of GameStop as a uh, protest, and I fully how much how much did you make? How much did you? So oh no, what, I, I what lost. Did you go I, in I, for? I lost a, a ton of. Um, I only bought one share, so but like I. So I, how much did you go in for? Like uh, eight bucks, two hundred seventy bucks. You bought it when it was two hundred seventy bucks. Yeah, as a protest, because the, so the whole the whole problem that I had with it is because they blocked trading GameStop on Peter Robert. Pan. Or like, Robin Hood. Yeah, Robin yeah Hood. They, I don't know. Why I said Peter Pan. Uh, <laughs> like another Disney and, and, character. No, here, the the fucked up part is, you know, they allowed them to sell, but they wouldn't let them to buy. Right. So no, I know about that. that that's messed up to you. That's uh, messed up to you. That's yeah. super messed up. So that's the only that's problem I have with it. Like, I don't care about the short selling. Like, that that's fine. But like, short selling you, sucks. You it's stupid. Like, what they did was market manipulate. You can't like say, yeah. like, you can't say you, you cannot buy. So you, you can only sell. But they're artificially trying to create yeah. the price to save right. uh, the yeah. short sellers, which is which is right. uh, not okay. So that's why I bought the share. I, I knew it was going to go down to zero dollars because GameStop is a garbage company. If you look at my Facebook post, I even said like you, you, if you look at the financials, GameStop has a negative I, profit I, margin. I, I agree like, that they're it's garbage, and their so. business model their business model is terrible too. Right. I so agree. yeah, it's perfectly fine to bet against a company if you know the comp company sucks. Like if if I had the cojones, I would have shorted Snapchat because Snapchat is a terrible company, right? Like there's a lot of did, companies. Did Snapchat go out of business? I think there's no. I, they're still doing fine, but like they're they're still a terrible company. Like it's okay. it's so stupid. I it, I agree. I agree. I it's it's basically just texting except like yeah a like, crappy version of it. Exactly. Like people should have the right to bet for or against a company. There, there's nothing wrong with that, but there is something wrong if like you're betting against fun. seems kind of I don't know. There's something. There's just this like there's just such a negative thing about it. You know. Uh, people bet against Tom Brady all the time. And, no, I. Mind, so, you know. Well, Tom Brady's Tom Brady's not well, a nice guy. You know, it's well, not there nice, you go. Well, uh, GameStop is not a nice guy because if you if you think that about doesn't it, mean I'm gonna bet against him. I'm not. Like, you know, you know, like all these gamers that bought the GameStop stop, they actually hate GameStop, right? Like for yeah, years, I, there's yeah, so many well, negative. GameStop well, Game, memes. GameStop like does all these terrible things. Yeah, right? I, I'm they, gonna like, edit in some negative GameStop memes. Like nobody bought it because they like GameStop. They they did it, you know, to fight to fight the hedge funds, which was cool. And I I bought a protest share. Uh, knowing full well, if you check my messages, I said I know this will go back down to zero dollars because GameStop is a worthless company. Okay. I just bought it. I just bought it for the lulz, and I'm proud okay. to have done my protest. Okay. Yeah, what about your uh, your bitcoinings? Oh yeah, I've been holding on to them, and they're still raising in value. It's pretty wow, good. Dude. That's yeah. amazing. But I, I don't own a full Bitcoin, but I, I own um, I own part of one, and then I own a couple of Ethereum and Litecoins. Um, that do you have? Is do, all I'll say. Do you have Doggy Coin? No. <laughs> it's pronounced Dogecoin. If I'm oh, 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 oh! Is it? Why isn't it Doggy Coin? Because uh, I think it's a Dogecoin. Is but it, it has like a Shiba Inu. Is like, look yeah. it up, look it up. How I, do you pronounce? How do you pronounce Doggy Coin? Uh, I'll let you do that on your own time. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my problem with it. Like, there's there's nothing wrong. Oh, actually, uh, let me caveat that. So, okay, my problem with the way they short sold though is. Um, they were short selling for more shares than actually um, existed, th than were actually outstanding for GameStop. Okay. Because okay, the way short selling works, right, is you you buy a few shares, and it's you, I mean it's like a weird borrow, you, right? You're, you're borrowing like, it. You yeah, don't actually own it. Yeah. You're, you're borrowing a few shares, and then you're selling them, and and then you're 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 giving back the shares at a later point, right? But the Correct. thing is, they were shorting yeah. it for more. Like let's say GameStop only had a hundred shares outstanding, they were shorting it for like hundred forty shares. Which which that that seems like broken and illegal. That, that that's my other problem. 
Yeah, that, yeah. It, yeah. The whole that, concept is dumb. Yeah. No, no, no. Short selling's fine, but you know. No, I don't know. It seems dumb to me. Short selling's fine. Like, I, if I had cojones, I'd short Tesla because there's no way. It's uh, worth that what? Much. Oh wow! There's you're gonna no bet way. against. You're gonna you're gonna bet against Elon. I'm not betting against Elon. I'm saying it's yeah, kind way of. Over, you kind of are. When it's you, way when overvalued. You... It's way overvalued for what it is right now. That's but you know, but I, that, that's not how I invest. So you know, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't do short selling. We should, uh, you should teach me how to invest. I don't really know how to invest. Oh, well, you don't have to. Like the easiest way is you just buy index funds. You just use a passive system, and that's good enough for most people. And and it beats out, you know, <laughs> professional money managers. Okay. So, well, I, I buy mutual funds, so if someone manages. Them, uh, no, see that's bad because those have high fees. If you if you do. No, I I go all I go low fees only. No, no, but the, the, if if you just do index funds, those are the lowest because they're not even doing any management. They're literally just tracking like the S and P five hundred, uh-huh. and and that actually historically outperforms mutual funds. So like, okay, that's, okay, that's the best way. So I just switch. I just swap. Okay. Like uh, but like we can go on a whole rant about that later. Like yeah, I don't buy any individual stocks, so you know. Okay. Same. Same. Like. Uh, yeah, GameStop was a for for the lulls thing. Yeah, um, for yeah. yeah, which was which was kind of for the lulls, except you lost two hundred bucks. Yeah, that's fine though. Like I, I knew I was going to lose two hundred. Yeah, it was it was for your morals, which for some yeah. reason you believe in morals, but you don't believe in like morals for sports figures. So well, I don't know. Tom Tom Brady is awesome. So yes, he okay. overcame all the odds. Yes. Okay, that's that's so, very moral. Yeah. All right. So um, what do you what do you what are you up to today? Let's uh, tell the audience what you're up to today after this podcast uh, i'm gonna try to make some uh, more gaming videos and then so if i just like make a batch of 10 then i have enough content for the year and can we try to can we try something real quick in this recording live can we sounds can we, kind of risky can we go to your minecraft world and have you share screen while the podcast is running and see if we can get a uh, in-game can we get like video of us while you're gaming you know okay, what i'm talking sure. about can we try that let's just try it for a future so this is a live um, for all the audience members, this is a live like tech experiment. Um, we obviously edited out all the, the problematic issues. Like yesterday when we spent about two hours trying to get the audio to record. Um, that is an example of uh, the tech issues that we have encountered. Um, so we're going to do a live tech uh, troubleshooting session here where we're going to try to boot up a game, get our images in the corner or something. Uh, maybe with OBS, I guess. I don't know. Uh, no, it's going to be too much work to set up OBS, so I'm just going to unfull screen, unfull okay. screen Minecraft. Oh, oh, I guess you could do that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that and share screen, and we can check out. Can your computer handle that? Can your, uh, your think so. graphics card handle so. like? I think it can. Our our video. Probably. And okay, and I want to see the ray tracing. Actually, is what I want to see. So maybe open up a new world too. Oh, okay. You want to see the ray tracing? Okay, hold on. Well, I want to see the dog. I want to see so many things in Minecraft because I haven't played in so long. Well, you should join. You should join then. I will eventually. Um, I've just been busy. Um, okay, one second. Uh, let me unfull screen this. Okay. Oh, actually, wait. First, I need to get the safety because I'm outside and it's nighttime. It's oh, okay. Okay. Are you in your world, the dog world? Uh, yeah. Oh, we should let show just... off. Is my is my bee? Can you show me the bees? The apiary? Uh, is no, that I'm not there? there right now because I'm in a village. Like I finally found a village super far away. Where village I thought that's where you put the dog statue. In the... Nope. All right, one second. You, you, you didn't put the dog statue in the main area? No, I did put the dog statue in the main area, but I'm saying we found a village that's still alive. Oh, okay. You trade so... with them at all? Oh, yeah. Trading, yeah. trading yeah. kind of sucks in, in Minecraft, I feel like. You don't get good stuff. You know? Oh, yeah, you do. If uh, if you just keep, keep uh, breeding villagers, you will. Uh, okay, okay, let me unfull screen this. Okay, so now Minecraft is not full screen. Okay. And then... Hey, do you have AC in your new house? No, I have a portable air conditioner. In your new house? No, I, I bought a portable air conditioner in. Uh... Okay. I, I thought your new house would have it. Is your new house wired for? Uh, um, uh, with a, uh, with a uh, Ethernet. Uh, we ordered Comcast, so hopefully soon. All right, so I don't know. Like, do you have like uh, outlets, like internet drops around your house, like a, uh, you know, like a, you know what I'm talking about? Wait, what? Is your whole house hardwired basically with Cat Five? Is basically what I'm asking. Or Cat Six? Depending on what? No. Oh, okay. I was just curious. I don't know. Your house is a new build, isn't it? Like, I, I don't understand the, like, what do you mean? What, like, like it, like, do you have outlets that are like that have the whole house wired? 
with with Ethernet cables? Um, probably not. Oh really? Oh. You oh, should ask it? for that. So here's my uh, villagers. I, I bet you do. I bet you do. Like all houses have it now, especially for like the size house that you guys got. Yeah. I feel like because otherwise your Wi-Fi is gonna be kind of crappy. You know. No, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wire the. I'm just gonna use Wi-Fi. Yeah, exactly. Are so, you gonna do a mesh? Are you gonna do a mesh network? Well, I don't know what that means. Oh jeez, dude. Come on, you're a tech guy. No, I don't actually really like tech very much. Like, if you okay. told me my job was to set up a mesh network, I'd probably be able to figure it out eventually, but okay. I, I would probably just ask somebody who knew what they were doing. Yeah, see, like, okay. like they sell pretty good stuff. Yeah, I can yeah. buy uh, diamond chest plates from this guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cause, Whoa. Oh, yeah, let me show you the golem farm. And then did I'll, you, um, I'm going to do a why video somebody, Did you plate. build stuff here or something? What? Did you trap all these villagers inside the Oh, pit? yeah. Well, no, my, my friend did. So this is just a breeding farm now. It's like a, this is a prison, dude. Absolutely. It's a prison. This Absolutely, is, um, and it's oh. surrounded by a mode of fire. Oh my goodness, what right. are you guys doing here? But, uh, no, here's the great thing. Um, the so great how do we get back to the main house? Is there a train? Is there a train that goes all the way home? No, so this train basically, oh, so this is the uh, the golem farm. This is great. Um, so what my friend did is he trapped a bunch of villagers here in glass. Uh, I'll yeah. show you. And do they what, drop down? No. I think I know. So see, see, these are villagers that are trapped in there. And what they do is they spawn golems at every couple of minutes. And then these golems... Why they, do they spawn golems? I don't know. Oh. Because the golems will basically fall down here into this lava, which is, which is blocked by these uh, planks. Yeah. And then the golems will die. And then they'll drop down here into these sorters. You'll get steel. Yeah. And, uh, I used but, to have one of these. Uh -huh. Right, and basically that's why I was able to get all the all the villagers leveled up in my prison, uh, because uh, I just use the iron to uh, to max out max out the max out. Remember the, when you uh, said iron was a a, um, a limited resource? It, it is a limited resource, but you know, nine more, my, my nine more. Yeah, well, my friend turned it into a renewable resource, which is great. Uh, so you were like angry at me for building like an iron sword. Yeah, because that, uh, iron is non-renewable until you set this up. Yeah, and that's what. I, well, I knew I was going to set it up. So. Uh, you didn't set it up. My, my friend set this up. I was going to. I was going to. Uh, I also know. was thinking about setting up one of these for like a mob spawner, so we get in unlimited uh, feathers. I think that would cause lag, though. Um, I guess. I mean. Okay, so my buddy has built. Okay, so I built this. Yeah, like the nether's super dangerous, so I just built uh, this underground tunnel to avoid all the uh, bad guys on top. So, Man, you've been putting a lot of hours in this game. How many hours a day do you play this? No, I haven't. Um, it's a lot of work. I, I guess I just haven't played in a long time with you guys. Like this, this tunnel only took took a day. Well, it took like two hours. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's just like all the other stuff, and just the planning and like progress just takes a long time in this game. Well, yeah, if you're a plan, but see, I, I just like all my builds are ad hoc. Like, see here, I'm just oh my oh oh no oh no. Okay, Is my up. apiary still up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. Oh shit, I got lost. Okay, I'm not really sure. <laughs> this was I, I, I like did not like this system. I mean, it was fine, and I understand like the utility of it, but I, I just wasn't a fan. Wasn't a fan of what? The fast travel system. Because it didn't. I just. It just seemed too dangerous to be down here all the time. It, it is too dangerous. That's why. Uh, I always just. I, yeah, I always just ran it. Like, I just ran, like, in the normal like, world. That's you know? insane. Uh, I mean, I, I memorized where everything was at one point, so yeah. I didn't have an issue, but. Man, okay, my friend said he did build a path that didn't go through the super dangerous nether fortress, but I haven't seen all the work he's done on that yet so I'm just anyways back to safety and then yeah you can see your apiary it should still be around I hope the last time I went back there was no peas left because someone killed all of them oh uh, yeah I think that was my friend's uh, seven year old kid so, oh you know. boy yeah, grieving have... grieving on my server is okay he totally grieved me if you're totally seven years old. well no it turns out um, uh, Minecraft Realms does automated backups so because you know I have all these villagers alive in my prison cell now so Actually, I don't think of it as a prison, more of a, a, a breeding area, a, bre a breeding pen. 
Okay. Um, so if, that's if, uh, that sounds wrong as well. If, so if maybe, that, maybe not. Maybe don't use any of those phrases. <laughs> so if that does get destroyed, then you know I'll, I'll just restore it. Oh, see, like, how would you even know where to go? Just like you would have been back at the that the main village already. Uh, no, the main village is pretty far away. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, you're about to get blown up live on stream. Oh wait, okay, there we go. See, see that landmark? That that is the sun. Okay, sorry, I, I was disoriented. Uh, you're dead. Not dead. I'm playing on easy difficulty. Why do you have all this diamond stuff? I thought you said diamond was not in you. Well, I have villagers. I, I got it all from the villagers. That, like this um, iron, making iron a renewable resource is great. Because that also makes uh, diamonds a renewable resource. I never have to mine again. So is that, I think that pumpkin patch is mine. I think. No, those, those are my pumpkins. Uh, are you sure? I think uh, I got yeah, those. I'm, I'm really sure, yeah. And, oh uh, my god, what happened to all my... Okay, I used to have a lot of weed here, but it is oh, okay. all gone. Well, oh, please, please go check to make sure my stuff is okay. Yeah, there's my dog. All right. Jeez. What's your dog's name again? Ginger. Ginger, that's this right. This is the Ginger Memorial. So I even have her peeing in in the back. You see that? Nice. That's, that's a stream of pee. Um, okay, your, your your pee stuff is over here. Okay. Also, my cocoa farm. Oh yeah, this was invaluable because I actually used this to create a yeah. brown, you were brown like, dye from So dog. some context, Jay needed to make some wool and so he needed cocoa. Uh, my bees are all gone. Bro. Wait, they are? Lol? <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll get them back. Oh, wait, they're the, uh, they might be there, I'm not sure. I just heard some buzzing. Yeah, you hear buzzing, but you gotta close that door otherwise you fly out. Uh, yeah. Huh. Oh, I just heard a buzzing sound. Oh wait, I think that was a horse. Never mind. No, it was. I did hear the buzzing, but I think that's. Um, well, that. So, so sucks. how do I get the bees? How do I get the bees back? You gotta find them. That sucks. God, it, that took forever, dude. That took. That was like a full like two or three days worth of work just to find like bees and bring them back. I'll fix it. All right. So yeah, this is this is the work that's been done in the starting yep, area. Yeah, pandas. Did you bring pandas back? Or no? no, I haven't. How do you do that? What is this? Is this Eye of Sauron or something? I don't know. No, I just uh, this used to be ugly mountains, so I've been carving out the mountains. Oh, so kind of like in uh, the 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 Hobbit. What? What? Ugh. When the dwarves live inside the mountain. The Hobbit wasn't very good. It was pretty good. I like enjoyed it. Uh, it's so a nice just... quick story. So uh, no, I'm, I'm saying Hobbit the movie. Oh, no. I'm assuming you were talking, I'm talking about, about the, the book. Movie. I'm talking about the book, dude. I've never even seen the movies. Okay, good. Because, uh, yeah. The, the movies. They didn't get very good reviews. And I think I agree with them. Yep, so that's the main area. Sorry about your bees. Uh, they, they were no, there last time I checked, so I'll cool. figure it out. Let's uh, take a look at your dog. Let's do. Quick... Yeah, I'll, I'll do a full video. How long does it take you to build that? And why are the ears sticking out straight like that? Because that's what her ears do when she's excited. Oh, so. interesting. Yeah, All right. uh, I'll make another that'll, that'll go in my tribute video to uh, Ginger okay. at a later point. Okay. Can we also make a quick uh, ray tracing video here? I just want to see sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Well, I want to show off my buddy's uh, lighthouse. I don't care about that. No, it's pretty cool, man. Oh, it is very cool. Nice. Yeah. I, how I many hours know. does your buddy play? He must play a lot. Yeah, I don't know how he even did this. This this is really interesting. Is he is he the same one with the kid? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe he plays with his son or something. Yeah. Are you still experiencing those lag issues that we had early on when we started the server? No, that was when I was trying to run my own server on AWS, which I gave up on, and now I use yeah. Minecraft Realms. But the only issue with Minecraft Realms is the view distance um, is yeah, I, it, I, it's I, short. I, um, yeah. And they do that for performance reasons. So. Yeah. But at least there's no lag when there's multiple people playing. Right, exactly. And then my other buddy built this. This is my other buddy from... Uh, from work, he built this uh, underground staircase, so that was pretty cool. How do you propose to people like if they want to join your Minecraft like server? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I how just ask you... if they want to join, and I, I also ask them to like and subscribe to my YouTube. Oh, okay. Did they? Yeah. Did they? Are they? Do uh, they? Are... I mean, yeah, we're up to uh, sixty-five subscribers, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Did you get everyone at Wong's to subscribe? Uh, not yet, because Wong's is closed. Um, oh, I think they're actually... opening it. I'm trying to figure out how my buddy built this. Like, how, how do you build an underground, underwater staircase? 
What do you mean? Like, how do you do this? Uh, I think you just start piling bricks down, and eventually you'll just close it out, and then you can scoop out the water. I think. Is that how you do it? Well, that's one option. I I'm pretty sure. Like okay, so you start at the top, and then you just put. So you just use water breathing potions and like brick brick it up, and then... he probably he probably used water breathing potions. Um, okay, so, but so yeah, I think you just do one layer at a time, and you just scoop out water. I think I'm not sure, but oh, you, you can do yeah. one layer at a time. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah, I mean you got. I see, it. I see. And, and, then, uh, and then basically, then you replace. There's it. a possibility that he also turned it to like creative mode. No, no, because I'm the I'm the server admin. So oh, okay. Only I turn it to creative mode. Okay. Which uh, did you did you do that for your dog? No, I t I turned it to a peaceful mode. Okay. Yeah, like I still gathered all the ingredients myself. Like I slaughtered so many. Sweets. Well, you didn't you didn't get the cocoa. I mean. Yeah, exactly. Like I I didn't get the cocoa. Um. I, yeah. That I was that was, that was GG loud. Yeah. Um. Later on, my friend, because I searched. The whole world, and I still can. Later, my friend told me there was actually a portal to a place, to a jungle. So that, that was. A I, well, it doesn't matter. I found it. It doesn't matter. Yes. I found it. And I planted yes, a did. bunch of cocoa. We yes. had all the crops already in place. All right, let's check out ray tracing really quick, and then. Well, we'll... that zombie just turned into like a a glowing zombie. Let's go fight it. Go fight it. Go fight no, it. Okay. Go fight right. it. Let's no, no no go fight it. I want to see your let's show, let's show your fighting skills live. Your what? Um, let's see your your um. What's that thing that you said that you can do in Doom, which is dumb, that no what? one does? No circle one uses mouth. strafing. Yeah, no one does circle strafing in Doom. Okay. Strafing. Um, All right. Okay. All right. Let's check out ray tracing, and then we will. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning into the stream. Uh, sorry, the end here was kind of uh, boring because we're just playing on our Minecraft server. Which oh, no, this is super exciting. Maybe people don't care about, but we do. No, it's super, we love super Minecraft. Exciting. This is to, this is gonna maybe turn into a Minecraft channel. Okay. Wait. Let me make sure. Wait. Yeah, I think Ray Tracing. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is so sweet. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, you gave me an idea for a new video. Okay, cool. Yes, I am going to do a Minecraft ray tracing video. Wow, this is amazing, dude. Uh, you have to do like a. Uh... Oh shit! I'm out of food. It's okay. fine. Who cares? This I'm is just a. It. I'm gonna change this world to peaceful. This is just a, a demonstration of ray tracing. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah, but I'm about to die. So. Uh... This is so amazing, dude. Uh, I agree. Wow, Minecraft has come so far. Look, there's like shadow rendering and everything. Oh my goodness! Yeah, man. This is so cool, dude. This is so cool. The problem is, so my my complaint about Minecraft always is that you can't, and we talked about this, that you can't you can't uh, import graphics from uh, into like a an uh, existing world. Yeah, what exactly. Is, is that a scarecrow, dude? Can you yeah. tear down that scarecrow? I have, this is new. How do you make those? Do you know how to make those? Uh, it looks, looks like, like they just... Actually, did, uh, never mind. Yeah, 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 never this, mind. yeah, I think you can just make it. Yeah. This is a pumpkin with some flags. Uh, yeah. That's sweet. This is so amazing. This is so amazing. Minecraft oh, has dude. gotten so good. Yeah, but like you said, like I, I wanted to set up ray tracing on my world, but but, yeah. but it, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a, it's it's the world is generated and whatever is available at that time is what's in there. That's yeah. It, are, those are bees. Those are bees. Uh, turn right, up. Uh, turn around, turn around, up on the tree. Uh, in on the tree. What? Wait, go look down. Is that a beehive? No, never mind. I thought it was a beehive. Like in the middle there, doesn't that look like a beehive almost? Uh, look I didn't up. see it, but look I up, look up, look up from where you are. Just like down that's a little the, bit, right there. So that, that wood, that wood that kind of looks like a beehive, right there. See how that it's like a beehive pattern, kind of. Is it okay? Right above I, that. Yeah. You know, I right don't know anything about beehives, but uh, I need some. More. I need some. Uh... So yeah, what do you what are you up to today? Hang out with your wife and stuff. Uh yeah. For Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's a very yeah, special like, Valentine's Day episode of. Oh Fourth yeah, yeah, I guess I can go on a rant about Valentine's Day. I think it's really stupid, but yeah, like. Okay. Uh, it's too commercial it, for you, huh? Yeah, like it's it's too commercial. Plus, like, so if you're single, it makes you miserable, and then if you're in a relationship, there's tremendous pressure not to screw up. So when when you were single, what did you do on Valentine's Day? Uh, I mostly cried. Mostly cried. Okay. Yeah, I mostly just cried a lot. Oh, in, in my twenties, like when I was in college, yeah, I, I cried a lot. Then later, I just played video games. Ah. Video games do take away the pain. It's like... Yeah, I mean, Valentine's Day is just stupid, so, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, um, I, I got So some... what did you get your wife for Valentine's Day? I got my wife some, some roses. Yeah, I got... I, from I Whole got... Foods, for, which is now owned by Amazon. <laughs> no comment. Uh, yeah, I got, 
I got her. They had a slick deal. It was like they're on sale. Otherwise, yeah. I, I wouldn't have afforded it. Yeah, I just got her some stuff from uh, from Safeway. Oh, Pretty nice. Good. The raw. You, you got your wife the ramen for Valentine's. <laughs> No, I, I got some other stuff. So this is okay. the water. This looks pretty cool. It does. The water is amazing now. Yeah. Yeah. This is so cool. Uh, yeah, we'll have to play this. Uh, you know, yeah. the problem is that I don't have ray tracing on. Like, you have to have certain... Uh... Yeah, like, I, I, I don't know what, like, it kind of sucks because you, you have to have, um, you, you have to download these worlds that have ray tracing. Like, you yeah. can't apply it. Like, I don't know oh. if, if that's a... A limitation or if they'll be able to change that uh, another later. question I have is um, if if I if I use my like Xbox for example right and I I join your world that has ray tracing I think I just would observe the world as like a normal world I, I think so it. yeah so I don't understand why they can't do ray tracing for yeah uh, everyone else but okay I'm about to starve to death I need to eat okay all right well um, I think this will do it for this episode of there's a beehive right there uh, on the other side of that tree, right there. Okay, yes, well, dude. Where's the bees? Uh, they only come out at certain times. And oh, don't so do you th do you think the apiaries still has bees, but it's just the bees were inside? Because it's I possible, or I heard the this bees might all be dead. It it could be either. Uh, I heard it's the hard to tell. Noise. Yeah, but the buzzing noise doesn't tell you. It, they always buzz. That's just like a um, that's just a part of the beehive. But that whether or not there's bees inside uh, doesn't dictate whether or not they buzz. I think. Um. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, All right, stay thanks. tuned for thanks, a everyone. ray tracing video. And yep. We'll see how awesome this is. And also, next time on For the Lulls, we'll have more For the Lulls topics. Um, Jay will be discussing cancel culture. Whoa, whoa, and, I'm not uh, discussing that. We'll be whoa. discussing uh, more uh, Asian-American comedians like Ali Wong and... Uh, oh, I love Ali Wong. She's awesome. Okay, yeah. and, um, and uh, Randall Park. Yeah, he's awesome, too. All right. Randall Park's very good at rapping. Actually, let's do that. Uh, 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 let's do one more reaction video of Randall Park rapping. What? Yeah, he has a rapping video. He's sick. What? Yeah, dude. You got to see it. I, I forgot about that. Um, so, uh, Randall, just YouTube Randall Park rapping, and he does like the most amazing freestyle rap. I, I don't think it's freestyle, actually, but he, he is good. Okay, why don't you link me? Yeah, let me look for it. That and that will close out with that because it's uh, it's what we all aspired to be uh, when we were in college. Uh, we wanted to be Asian rappers, but Jay and I weren't good enough. Correct. We were inspired by the film Eight Mile with um, Eminem. This is a good movie. Do you think Eminem would get canceled nowadays? Oh, see, I was I was in a huge rant with my friends about this. A absolutely, like, I, I, but the thing is, like, that everybody loves Eminem, even though, like, if you actually listen to his music, it, it's awful. Yeah, like, it was. He has a whole song, allegedly, because you know I I don't listen to his you know offensive music, but you know he has a whole song where he talks about how he's gonna murder Kim. I don't think I don't think that would fly today. Okay, so this is gonna be time stamped uh, with the appropriate time. Yeah. Okay, I'm sending it via Discord to you. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Park. Damn, that's see, yeah, we, we need more people like this guy and less, and, uh, and less, uh, uh, Bobby, Bobby Lee or whatever his name. Is. <laughs> like, yeah. And also that guy from House of Bling, apparently. Who yeah, yeah, man, super, super man hot. crush on. Super hot. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thanks everyone for joining this episode of uh, yeah, God, good times for the Lulz Valentine's Day edition. Again, yeah. brought to, brought to you by Hard Body Limited. Um, Please be a, sure to like and subscribe. Yep. A uh, well, to you, both of you, us. you really interrupted. You really interrupted that that <laughs> ad. Um, so yeah, thank, thanks to our sponsor, Hard Body Limited, um, who uh, is run by our uh, great friend Pablo. Pablo the Mex, which is his uh, screen name. So okay. yeah, it's, it's Pablo okay. the Mex, yeah. really cool guy. Um, hard Body is a lifestyle. Right. Of being but also hard. also a clothing company. Um, street and bodies brand. being being hard. You know. Yep. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm worthy enough to wear it, but I, I think you can because you can bench. You can bench like um, an insane amount. So we should we should both just wear it all the time. We should get some. We should get some for our next uh, podcast. Uh, agreed. All right. Let's do it. Well, okay. Okay. All right. Th thanks, thanks for everyone. Watching. Like and subscribe. Right. Take care. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Happy Valentine's. <laughs>